it is Sunday for today is the release date of 2021-22 oh peachy finally this stuff is released comes with us 10 cards per pack 18 packs per box and uh that's a typical oh peachy release the bounty puzzle to get a top 2021 draft selection card all that sort of stuff the tall boys yeah there's the odds of what you can get pause that and read it although of course that's not everything peachy is a uh, well known for its easter eggs and of course with this being a release day i have no idea what they're going to be didn't see any of this opened at the shop and yeah one interesting thing i want to note here is uh this was printed in both here let's see if it focuses printed in italy and the usa and uh, that's one of the reasons why upper deck releases have been so delayed because of supply chain issues obviously and uh yeah they're having to print out of italy and uh yeah it's not just an upper deck problem it's a everybody problem tops panini they're all facing that same issue the only difference is upper deck decides to add a release day to the products they announce and obviously that release day is a uh, kind of ridiculous and never comes in time so let us begin opichi one of my favorite products of the year definitely one of the most underrated products it's low end but it's really good and uh yes it's uh the return to the cardboard card stock we went away from that last year and it's back so there's the base card uh nick ritchie obviously in the bruins i uh, didn't play with the bruins last year or this year i mean you know, you'll see some cards like this guys who are kind of not updated i guess you could say to their current teams probably because this checklist was finalized a long time ago you know there's patrick kane svechnikov there's the first rookie card of spencer knight it's not a bad one to get there's the back opichi tends to do decent for a sales wise at least on com c this is like the ultimate Comsi product. This is like probably like 10, 15 bucks on there. The base cards are probably a couple bucks each as well. And this is probably like five bucks Ovechkin retro. Yeah, the backs look awesome on the retros. Oh, the green. Retros are always cool. This is a blue parallel of Darnell Nurse. Oh, with a darker blue this year. These aren't numbered. I think they're one in three or so packs. Giordano, JT Miller, Cody Glass, and Ovechkin Base. One of my favorite parts about Opeachy is the expanded checklist. Uh, a lot of names you typically do not see. Uh, Nick Delorier has a base card in here. That's something I'm very happy about. There's a green parallel. Those are new this year. So Orlov, Hallmark, Tavares, a Kalen Addison rookie. Zach Aston Reese and a green. Dennis Gurionov with a really uh, low quality picture. Uh, horrible. Zach Aston Reese retro. And this is a new parallel. Green. These are out of 50. So 42 of 50. Two parallels per box on average. So there's one. It's cool to get green one. Shan Hathaway, Grubauer, and Ben. You saw Grubauer with the uh, Avalanche in there. No Kraken card in here aside from a, a team logo patch. And their staple in Opeachy patches are back, of course. All right, so Kerfoot, checklist. A Philip Gustafson, Marky rookie. Cody Glass, retro. And Justin Falk, Blue, Appleton, Drigger, Bemstrom, Bear, and Kukinen. Looking for the Easter eggs, of course. Like I said, I had no clue what they're going to be. You know, I'll keep an eye out. There's probably like photo variations and that sort of stuff. So I'll keep an eye out for those. And we do have a patch, which is nice. Like Timo, Timo Meyer. I'm just going to say Timo Pielmeyer. He hasn't been in the league for many years. 
Larkin, it's an Orlov Retro. Kyle Clifford, Zach Aston Reese. You know, we got a. Ooh, that's nice. Wayne Gretzky, Con Smythe Trophy patch. <laughs> Con Smythe Trophy patch of uh, Wayne Gretzky. That's pretty good. Of course, aren't numbered. Obviously, not game used. That's pretty cool. I don't know how rare this card would be, but it's pretty nice. Probably fairly valuable as well, being that it's Wayne Gretzky. I'm telling you, OPG is a good release. Very underrated product. It's Yeah, it's a low end, but I'd open this over stuff like OPG Platinum all day long. Platinum's terrible for value. This stuff's pretty good if you know where to sell it. Duclair, Tanev, Troy Terry, an Allmark Retro, and a Brady Kachuk playing card. These are back. They're pretty good. I'm always a fan of the playing cards. Kale McCarr. Pack only had two inserts, so maybe the McCarr's a variation. Who knows? Kea, Riley, Ekblad, and Hall. Yeah, it's uh, going to be fun to uh, look for the variations afterwards. I've got another box here open on another video, so maybe I'll be able to compare some base and find a variation. Stevenson, Sagan, Zadorov, Backstrom, Nick Paul, Retro, and Kopitar, Premier, Tall Boys. Back for, I think, the third year in a row. I'm not really a big fan of those cards, but they don't really sell, and they're kind of weird. So, they're cool, though. Just not that cool. Uyghur, Lindblom, Team Checklist of the Islanders. These are kind of short printed. I think one and two packs for one of the short print base. Retro Checklist. Carrier Blue and a Barkov uh, Tallboy. Looking for one red parallel per box. Oh, well, there it is. Karishev, Felino, Checklist, Vasilevsky, League Leaders, one of the short print base, Zadorov, Retro, and a Ty Smith, Red. These are one per box this year, sort of replacing the Rapper Redemption. The last year there were blank back one of ones of this, and uh, this is not one of them. It's still cool. Trevor Moore, I think that's his first Kings card. Jeff Carter, probably his first Penguins card. Marchand and Kyle Carter. Warren Fogel, Yavrikov, Connor McDavid season highlights. Brian Rust retro. And a Patrick Kane blue. I assume there's no sort of blue variations. Anything like that. Marlowe, Robinson, Ottinger, Puglia, Yarvi, and Greenway. I assume the reverse retro jerseys are not variations, considering there's been plenty of them already. Last year, I think last year there were like warm-up jersey variations, or the inverted pictures black and whites and i can't remember what else but we'll see rookie season review of Suter or sutter however you pronounce his name these are new and one complaint about the checklist this year would be these you know shorten the rookie checklist to include these and i don't know I don't think these are necessary. There's a, another one. Well, this is the retro of Jason Robertson. On a blank back. Bergeron playing card. Garland, Coleman, Bean, and Thompson. Ted 
XEA Kopitar uh, Wyatt Kalanuk rookie uh, team checklist retro of the Senators and this is probably an Easter egg I don't remember seeing these on the checklist a rookie update let's see if it'll focus first a rookie update premiere tall boy of Jason Robertson using last year's design so I'd assume this is a uh, an Easter egg I do not recall that on the checklist at all interesting that's the fun thing about Opeachy. You never know what you're going to get because Upper Deck doesn't really tell you what you're going to get. So, I'm always fun. And we got a black parallel in here. Ty Smith, Lexi Akuso, Kale McCarr retro, and a marquee rookie black 51 for the Rangers. Tarmo Runeman. I don't know how good he's going to be. I don't think he's one of the uh, top prospects on the Rangers. Even if he was, the Rangers would probably ruin his development anyway and he'd not turn out to be much. But Tarmo Runinen, 23 of 100. I love the green on the back. I know it's not a big deal, but it looks great. Tarmo Runinen. What if it's going to be OPG Platinum previews in here? There were last year and the year before. I think they started in 2019-20. And last year there were like parallels and stuff. It was pretty crazy. Please. Lars Eller. Kemper Nedeljkovic. Tuck. William Makaya of Retro. And a blue rookie of Jacob Bryson. Points as a wood and lantern. Everly. That's not Connor Ingram, that's Matthew Shane. I wonder if that's a variation or just some sort of strange error. Interesting. Because uh, that's. Unless Matt Duchesne has morphed into Connor Ingram, that's not Connor Ingram. Interesting, I'll put it aside. He's going in Cole Lind, rookie. Golden Knights retro checklist and a Besser playing card. Meyer, Shattenkirk, Alina, and Capo Kakonen. Blackwood, Keller, Fox, Braden, Shen, Retro, and Vlasic, Blue, Ellis, Goudreau, Kubalik, Jones, and Peugeot. Three packs left. Zugarello, Eakin, Marlowe, Season Highlight. Uh, most games played in NHL history. Panarin Retro. Bennington uh, Playing Card. I'd assume there's Retro Blank back this year. Basically been every year since 2010 there have been. So I don't really see why they wouldn't do that this year. Nick Paul. Cop. Arson. Capitals Checklist. Nick Suzuki, Retro, and a Stamkos Premier. All right, last pack of this box. Last chance of Nick DeLorier. Luke Cunning. Bennington, Dumoulin, Blue Jackets. Checklist, uh, Hughes, Retro, Jack Hughes. And Brady Kachuk. Peachy Premier. Tall boy. And that is it for this box. Pretty good box, I'd say. Uh, number to 50. Of course, the Gretzky patch is probably the uh, big card in this box. But uh, 
yeah, that is it. Uh, keep an eye out for my second box. Probably uploaded already by now. That is it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.